Well, hello, Shorty. Are you going to help me do today's vlog? Yeah? Hi, everybody. It is a really gross, rainy day outside, so we are going to do a home vlog. I just received a huge Amazon order. I got a couple Amazon gift cards for my birthday, and so I splurged a little bit. I have a vending event coming up this summer that I'm prepping for and I want to change up my display a little bit so some of this stuff is for that to prep and I want to share with you guys so let's just get into it shall we I'm gonna talk a little bit about each thing that we're going to be working on I will have another video soon because we're gonna do um, some DIY to some of this stuff we're gonna go to the hardware store and buy more pieces it's gonna be a lot of fun so anyway, let's get into this big old box. It's hard to actually show it on um, video because it's huge and it's heavy. Um, there is another little one that we'll get into later. Um, but first, oh, what, what do I want to pull out first? Um, blah, blah, blah. Okay, these are actually for Shorty. Got her a package of her potty pads. Here you go, baby girl. Pee all you can pee. <laughs> oh boy. Next, let's see, what do we have? Oh, here is a pattern. Uh, recently I did a video where I cut out a bunch of fabric to prep for a sewing day, which we still need to have. I need to cut out more fabric actually. And um, as I was going through all that fabric, I found this really nice, um, several yards of this spider web print that has lime green spiders on it and I decided I wanted to save this and I'm gonna make myself a shirt out of it for vending um, and so I found this really cute pattern that I'm going to use for it you approve thank you what I'm going to do is take a small scrap piece of this fabric with me to Joann's and I'm gonna buy some of the lime green buttons to match the spiders. I could have ordered buttons online but I would rather do it in person so I can match it up better in person because sometimes when you see things online it's not always you know clear and when you get it it's yeah it ends up not working out. So we're gonna actually make a trip to Joann's to get buttons. So that'll be a project soon. Another sewing day vlog. Um, got a bag of squeakers to go in some toys that I cut out recently. Um, these are little hooks that have a clip on the end. And I'll explain to you in a little bit what these are going to be used for. So for now, I'm just going to set them here. Um, what is this? Oh, I think I remember what this is now. Okay, yeah. Um, it is a USB mini fogger that also lights up. I have one of these, but it plugs into the wall and I wanted one that was more portable so we can take it places. And I'll explain this here in a minute too. So let's kind of go together with the clips. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, uh, I got some heel insoles for my new shoes. I noticed when we went hiking for my birthday uh, the whole next day I was in so much pain on my right foot. Um, just oh, achy pain. I Years and years ago I used to work at Napa Auto Parts in the warehouse. I worked there for years, like over 10 years. I want to say it was actually 14 years by the time I quit. Um, and at the end, the last couple months, I was in so much pain, it hurt to walk. I felt like my heels were bruised. I had developed plantar fasciitis and sciatica and just lower back pain. It just, it took a toll on me. So it, I hadn't had that pain in a very, very long time until this past weekend. So I bought some new insoles to put in those shoes. Put 
that over there. These are little holders for coasters. Uh, Pete bought a bunch of the slate coasters to do etchings on, and then we found these really cool holders. I think there's a set of four here. I could open it up. My gosh, this is really packaged nice and well protected here. Okay, well, we just need to open up one to get the idea here. So coasters stack in there. I think you could probably get like eight coasters in that. That's pretty tall. So that'll be fun. He's going to work on some fun Halloween themed coasters to put on the vending table. And we're going to sell them as a set in these. Um, oh, this is for the 3D printer. I, I only wanted to buy one roll, but they were out of the single rolls in the color I wanted. So I had to buy it as a two pack, which actually ended up being a better deal in the long run. So I have two rolls of red 3D printer filament. The reason why I wanted this in that color, oh my God, that's heavy, um, is because Pete has been printing me risers for vending and they're all red red is my favorite color um, all of my stuff is black and red in the uh, vending theme so these risers are for my crocheted plushies I bought um, doll stands to hold the plushies and then they're gonna go on the various heights of risers the length of the table and so we wanted more filament to keep printing in the same color so everything is uniform. So these are pretty neat. We are going to um, add a coaster to the top. Pete bought some hexagon wood coasters that are the same exact size as the top of these. And I painted them all red. And then he's going to etch the little logo on it. And we're going to glue them on top. So it gives it a little more uh, weight to them and a little less slippy for the doll stand so it'll have something to kind of grip to plus it'll look really neat to have them all branded with a logo so that's another project uh let's see um we got one more thing in the box uh, I'll get to oh, that's a big old box That'll get broken down and recycled. I'm going to go and talk about this. So these are the doll stands. And I'm a little concerned. Um, I didn't know what size I was getting when I ordered them. It's, see, ordering online is so hard. You thought, you think it's going to work. And then you get something that's completely different than what you were thinking it was going to be. And then when things aren't in inches, that makes it even more difficult. Um, these are so Tiny? I don't think they're going to work for my plushies. Oh gosh dang it. Yep, I drop everything, I swear. Gravity. Um, let me get that in there. That's too far in. Oh, balls. Come on. Okay, well, you stupid fart bucket. There we go. These are so small. Um, I wanted stands that would go around my plushies. This is just, I brought Dean down as an example. He's not one that's going to be in the vending because I made him special for myself. I love Dean. He's my favorite character. Oh my God. Speaking of Dean, I just finished all of Supernatural. I watched this last season. I hadn't seen season 15. I don't know why. It's been out for like four years. I just, I wasn't ready for the ending. And oh my God, it, it, oh, it gutted me and I cried. <sighs> anyway, whew, squirrel. <laughs> squirrel, that's funny. If you know, you know. Um, anyway, I wanted doll stands that would go around their waist. Well, this isn't gonna, this is not big enough. I'm gonna have to return these and get a much larger size because that's not gonna work. What the heck? 
Ah, anyway. Yeah, so the idea was a doll stand that would hold the plushies in, you know, around their neck or their waist. And then they would sit on these risers at various heights on the table. So I'm gonna have to return these. Dang it, man. Ah, oh, what a pain in the butt. Return them and order a bigger size. I tried to find them locally and no one has them um, except for Hobby Lobby and I don't shop at Hobby Lobby. And they were kind of stupid expensive anyway. You only got like one or two for that one price where I got like 16 <laughs> of these. <sighs> Dang it. Ah, I'm not looking forward to having to file a return. Gosh, poop. All right, anyway. <sighs> Last thing. I have a stand that I've been using for years. I've had this stand for, gosh, I, I, I don't even know how long. And I don't even remember where I got it. Um, I've had it so long. I think it was originally for hanging wet hats, socks, and mittens and stuff to dry. But I've been using it to hold the dog witch hats that I sew and make. And it sits on the table well, over time, the the screw has um, stripped. It's not a very long screw for the nut to go on. This sounds so inappropriate. <laughs> so it, it was kind of iffy to begin with. And then over the years of using it over and over again, it's stripped itself. I ended up trying to glue the, the foot base together hoping that that would help make it stable and it worked for a short while and then over time that became loose and fell apart and it's just been very shaky and I'm ready to retire it because it's kind of a safety hazard. The last thing I want to have happen is it fall over, knock over breakable things. Not that I have breakable things but it could fall over into the booth next to me, break something or it could fall on somebody and hurt them. So it's being retired and I've been looking for a new way to display the witch hats. I looked everywhere online at various fixture stores and Amazon and I found absolutely nothing that I really liked. Things that I did find that would work great were stupidly priced. I don't want to spend $200 on a little display for a few witch hats. That's dumb. And so I was thinking, well, maybe I can make my own somehow with like PVC pipe or something. But I don't know I, how. I don't have that kind of skills. I mean, I have crafty skills, but to a certain point. My, my skills are in a different department. You know, sewing, crocheting, painting, <laughs> not building. So a recommended thing came up as I was scrolling through Amazon for a coat rack. And I was like, oh, a coat rack. Okay, well, that's not a bad idea. I could have it standing on the floor next to the table. And uh, this one popped up and well it's in this little box which has me a little worried because I was expecting it to come in a big long box already you know together but I guess it's going to be pieces that I have to put together kind of like a tent I guess but anyway I will insert a photo of this here when I saw this I got so excited it just screamed witchy goodness to me this is absolutely perfect for witch hats, although it doesn't have a whole lot of pegs for hats, so I wouldn't be able to hold a lot of hats, but Pete had a wonderful idea, and that's where these little clips come in handy. We are gonna go to the hardware store. As long as this um, works out okay, once we take it out of the box and put it together, I'm not gonna do that today. I'm gonna wait for Pete to come home, and we're gonna do it together. Um, but he had suggested we go to the hardware store and we buy dowels and we're going to paint the dowels black, cut them to fit in between each legs, which will actually give it more support. And somehow we'll wire it or zip tie it to the structure, structure. And then these little clips can hang on the dowels. Probably maybe we could get three per dowel. I don't know. I won't know until it's all put together and then clip 
a witch hat to it so they hang. So it'll make it a clothing rack as well. Plus all the pegs that are already on the coat rack. And I could put, probably put a hat on the very, very top. Well, if you look at the picture, it has a basket at the bottom. This is what sold me on this for a witch hat display. Oh my God, that little basket reminded me of a cauldron. Do you see it? Oh my God. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna to go to the Dollar Tree and get a cheap little plastic bowl that'll fit in that basket, hopefully. And then that's what we bought the Mr. Fogger for, the USB one. We will put this in that bowl in water so that it can do its job and fog and light up. And we wanted USB because we don't always have access to electricity power at vending events unless we want to pay an additional fee, which is stupid and ridiculous because we've already paid enough booth fees to be at the event. So USB all the way. We've got several of those portable power banks that we could plug it in and then just hide that underneath. I think that'll be so cool. So can you picture it? Cauldron, bubbling, fog and changing colors, witch hats on this tree above it. Yes, but it gets better. Okay, so years ago, a few years back, I used to do a series here on my channel called Campfire Diaries. It was where every time we traveled, I would sit down and we would have like a fire and I would read from my travel journal previous travels that we had done just to kind of keep all the adventures alive and, and inspiring us to keep doing more and so on and so forth. And there was some times where we couldn't always have a fire because like maybe we were in a hotel room or the one time we were camping at Getaway House. It, it was in the hot, hot summer and there was a burn ban. So we couldn't have a campfire. So I ended up buying this little campfire toy. And let's watch this. How cute is that? Anyway, shortly after I bought the toy for Campfire Diaries, I ended up stopped doing Campfire Diaries just because it became a lot of work to do that series. And I, I got burnt out on it. But I still have the toy. And I think this underneath that bucket cauldron looking thing is perfect. So it'll look like the fire is lighting the cauldron, the cauldron's bubbling, and then you have all these witch hats. What do you guys think? Can you picture it? It's gonna be amazing. I am so excited. I can't wait to start putting this thing together and making it work. It's going to be so much fun. So we will make this its own video. I think that'll be coming here soon. So it'll be a DIY craft day putting together the witch hat stand. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I guess that is it for today's video. Oh, it sounds like they finally finished pressure washing. I thought that was crazy. I don't know if the camera picked it up, but there's a lot of pressure washer noise outside. It's raining and they're outside pressure washing the building over and behind. <laughs> it's just been crazy loud. But anyway, oh, I'm getting distracted. I'm going to go. I'm going to go make some lunch. Enjoy the rest of my day. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for joining me on this rainy, boring day, unboxing Amazon stuff and making plans for vending booth prep. I'm excited. We will have another, um, sewing day really soon. I have a lot of craft projects lined up coming. Just April showers, so April's gonna have a lot of rainy days, so it's great to stay inside and work on projects. Can't wait. All right, I'll see you again tomorrow, because it's still March, and March we're daily vlogging. So I'll see you then. Have a great day. Bye!